All right, here's another one. Now this one's a little bit tougher, right? Because it, I don't have a log on the right-hand side that I can set it equal to, but I do have a couple tools at my disposal. And one of those is that if I have a logarithmic expression like I do over here on the left-hand side and X is stuck in there and I want to get it out, well, remember, I've always got another form that I can represent this equation in, and that would be exponential form. So I'm going to say the base of 7 raised to the power 2 is equal to the number 3x plus 2. And now it's a really simple equation. I just have to simplify. I'll, I'll call 7 squared 49 equal to 3x plus 2. And then we'll just solve from here, right? We'll subtract 2. And I get 3x is equal to 47. I went ahead and switched sides there. And then I'll divide by 3. And it looks like I get x is equal to 47 over 3. Now, if you put that in the calculator, you get x is approximately equal to 15.67. But just a quick note, if you want an act like the, the most accurate answer you can get, then you are going to stick with this one right here. Because 15.67 is rounded. 47 over, or excuse, yeah, 47 over 3 is not. And that's as uh, simple as that's going to get. 47 and 3 are relatively pr prime, which is to say they don't share any factors in common. So we'll stick with that. And you can check your work back in the original equation. Uh, but, and it'll actually work out kind of nice because the 3 in the denominator is going to uh, divide out very nicely with this 3 here. So I'll leave that for you to work on. But uh, needless to say, that will work. You should get log base 7 of 49 equals 2. Okay, uh, let's take a look at another one. Here's one that's kind of similar, but uh, different because of this 4. Right, That 4 is kind of hanging out out front, and it wasn't doing that. I didn't have any coefficients in the last couple. So I've got to figure out what to do with that 4. And in this case, I can treat it like I did... Uh, the other coefficients, which is to say I could move it up here, okay, or uh, since this is an equation, I can actually get rid of that 4 by dividing. We'll do that to both sides, and I get log base 9 of x is equal to 1 half. And that worked out nice because 2 and 4, you know, they simplify to a half, and now with that x stuck in there, I can just turn this into uh, exponential format. Base 9 raised to the power half is equal to x. And if you remember back from uh, one of the previous learning targets, that half power means basically square root. So x is going to be equal to, well, square root of 9 is plus or minus 3 technically. But remember, if I look back at this x, the uh, taking the log base 9 of a negative 3 won't work. So we're just looking our, at our answer being positive 3 here. Okay? So, and, you know, technically, I guess you can look at the, this like I did not take the square root, right? I did not initiate the square root. So we're not going to consider both the positive and negative, just the principal root of, uh, of 3 there. Okay. And taking a look at one final one. So this one's kind of messed up, right? We got a lot of stuff floating around. And a lot of people... Our initial instinct is to say, oh, I know 15 plus 2, that's 17. I knew it. But this is not just a 2, right? This is 2 log base 2 of x. So those really aren't like terms. Okay, so what I'm going to do is try to isolate this by getting rid of the 15, right? I can totally treat this like an equation now and start moving stuff to the other side. And that was really weird. Sometimes this thing goes nuts on me. I can start moving stuff around. And, uh, gosh, I just don't know why it doesn't want to... Okay, that, that's a 6, okay? And then let's go ahead and divide by 2. And we get log... <laughs> oh, there we go. Log base 2 of x is equal to 8. And then again, with that x stuck, let's just put this in exponential form. Base 2, power 8, 
equals x. And um, 2 to the 8th power. You can always go back to the calculator. And remember that the exponential key is this one on the left-hand side beside the 4. It's that, uh, that caret symbol. So that'll create an exponent, and 2 to the 8th is 256. So that gives me x equal to 256. There we go. And that's it. So uh, please comment if you like or send me any questions if you have them. Take care.